I just wanted to do a little short video to explain how to take your nails off without damaging your own natural nails. Hopefully you've not picked them or prized them off. Mine have been on about a week and the glue is still holding up really well and they're looking good. But I just wanted to explain so people don't take them off and the glues rip some of their layers of their nail away. Um, so hopefully you've got what you need at home um, to make sure you can safely remove them and hopefully ready for your next set. This is my packing station, which you could have, yeah, you would have seen in the in the back of my video there, but um, it's all looking good. I've got a new little guillotine, which I'm excited to chop the, the pages up with that I stick your nails to. Um, and yeah, I've got a few more orders to do this afternoon. So I'll look forward to getting back to work after I finish this video. So for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to use things that you guys should have around the house. Um, just make sure you put a towel down because if you spill any nail varnish remover, then it should soak up most of the product and hopefully not damage your furniture. So I've got a little dip bowl, just a small one, um, and then an orange wood stick that came with the nails. Um, so hopefully you've all kept those, but if not, um, a little cuticle pusher or something similar just to scrape off the glue, um, and help sort of get the nail off. And then I've also got, <clears throat> this is nail polish remover. I just got this one from Home Bargains. Um, it's pretty good because it's in this pump bottle anyway. Um, obviously I normally buy my acetone and nail varnish remover from a wholesaler, um, but I just thought for the purpose of this, it'd be good. And it's also 80% acetone so hopefully it'll be efficient at moving your nails and obviously easy to get your hands on so literally all I'm going to do is pour the nail varnish remover into this little bowl just enough to get my nails in and then hopefully in 10 minutes the glue will have started to dissolve and the nails will come off easily I've managed to get two off. They felt pretty loose. So I just <clears throat> popped this on one side and it just came off really easily. So I think this one is, yeah, pretty much free. That one's done. So the most important thing here is to not force it. Um, as that's when there's, yeah, oh, there you go, <laughs> another one off. Um, so if you force it, that's when layers of your natural nail are gonna come off. Um, you can still see <clears throat> there's some remnants of the glue here. So I'll just wait till they've all come off and then I'll show you how to tidy them up. So that's um, all off. That thumb took a little bit longer, um, but all the stick-ons are now off. So I did cut my nails quite short before um, I put them on so they don't look the nicest. But yeah, if you keep your nails in the solution while all of them are coming off, you should be able to scrape off um, most of the glue as it should be dissolved by the time all of your nails have come off. Just use your orange wood stick to gently push away the remnants of the glue. buffed over my nails and I've washed my hands to get all of the dust off and I'm just going to apply some oil to my nails but obviously if you're going to apply another set of stick-ons don't apply oil you can just go straight in um, with the other set uh, this oil I wish you could smell this oil it smells amazing it's the new Naf Stuff Pro Cuticle Oil, which I do sell in my salon, but they smell divine. This lavender one, if you put it on before bed, it's just heavenly. Um, but yeah, so that is my nails taken off and with no damage and ready to go again. So just to recap, you need a little bowl, some 
nail varnish remover. This one was from Home Bargains, just because I know that everyone loves a good Home Bargains with, so this one is with 80% acetone, and then an orange wood stick or something similar. Um, so hopefully you've still got that from when the nails came in the post. So I hope that helped and cleared up the best and safest way to remove your stick on nails. Thanks for watching, I hope that helped. Please like and subscribe to my channel. If there's any more tips and tricks or anything I can help with, then just leave a comment below and hopefully I can make a little video for you. But otherwise, I'll see you soon.